Hello, boys and girls. I'm back again. Can you believe it? Okay, so today I'm going to teach you something that I have not found how to do this on the internet. I looked everywhere, so I might be the first person to be showing you how to do this. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to make clear gesso. And you're probably, if you've never heard of clear gesso, you're probably thinking, what the heck is clear gesso and why would you use it? Well, let me just tell you, clear gesso is just like regular gesso, except it has no pigment in it. So it's clear. So if you already have a white canvas, you can put this on your canvas and not have to worry about, you know, putting the paint kind, the kind that's white. You don't need that obviously if the canvas is already white and you want to keep it white let's say you have a black canvas and you want to keep it black but you don't have black gesso you can use the clear gesso so basically you can omit two types of gesso just by having clear gesso which is in a tostitos container i apologize i didn't have a mason jar on me um, all my mason jars are packed away in another room but anyway so clear gesso is fantastic because you know you can use it in so many ways you know if you want to seal over your projects let's say you do a journal page or any kind of project and you want you know you have like you let's say you collage some photos down and you know that if you use Mod Podge it doesn't have that tooth to it so that you can't really write with it with pencil and you know chalk and all that stuff and different pastels and what have you but if you seal it down with clear gesso which you can absolutely do and it'll be clear and then you can also write over it and do your doodling so I mean it's way better than using Mod Podge for your for your journal pages because you can write over it and use all the regular mediums that you could if you put gesso over it, which of course regular white gesso would cover up your art. So you don't wanna do that. So I'll show you what I mean. On this piece of, I folded it, that's why it's got a crease in the center, but it does not look any different on one side than the other. And all this is is just card, um, like a thin piece of chipboard, more like cardstock chipboard. Um, but if you notice on this side, it kind of, you can hear that it has a smoother because I mean cardstock or chipboard already has like kind of a not a completely smooth surface but listen to that then listen to this that's the side with the clear gesso because it's got the tooth to it it sounds much rougher okay so that's the side that has you know the tooth to it so let's just give an example of how this works. Hopefully you can see this. Let's start with some colored pencils, watercolor pencils, okay? I'm gonna write up here, un-gessoed, I don't know how to spell that properly, and gessoed. Already look at the difference. I use the same amount of pressure that's the non-gessoed side, and that's the gessoed side. And you notice how dark and, and clear that comes out compared to this. You could barely see it over here, but look how that came out. Okay, so that's a colored pencil. Moving right along, let's go to an oil pastel. These oil pastels, by the way, I've had these. They were only $2.99. And I got them back in like 1980 something. <laughs> and they still are fine. So here's like an orange. I'll just draw a line and then I'll draw a line. Look at the difference. Okay. There's a big difference between that line and that line. That's oil pastel for you. I'll even do another color, like a yellow color. It just goes on smoother, so I was able to do this, and you could feel it, whereas this you can't really feel it. Like, it just makes a big difference, okay? Clear gesso, people. That's where it's at, man. Okay, and then I've got professional drawing pencils. 
These are professional drawing pencils. Let's do a little sketching. This is a really fine point, so I don't know if we're gonna see. Wow, holy crap. What a difference that made. You can't even see it on this side. I thought to myself, oh, it's so fine over here. It's gonna be really fine over here. Well, screw that, look at it. Look at it. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I sat here and like colored and that did nothing. When I go over here and it's like, bam, you got some things going on. I'll try a different, uh, that one's a little heavier. Yeah, see, look at that, it's crazy. You guys totally need some of this clear gesso. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Because, I mean, just imagine what you can do over your collages. I mean, if you have, like, you know, if, let's say you use magazine cutouts of, like, things and you want to doodle on them, it's crazy. Okay, let's do a chalk pastel. I hope you can see this as I'm drawing it. That came out pretty okay on there, but it, I think it came out much more vibrant on the other side. You see what I mean? It comes out much more vibrant on the side that's been clear gessoed than the side that's not. Okay? I mean, and it just goes on and on. You can use it for anything. Your paints will come out better and hold better. Another nice thing about it, if I can get these pastels back in their box without me wanting to throw them out the window. Another nice thing is the fact that it will not leak through the page. So let's say, you know, you use, let me just take some water for instance, okay? I'm just gonna take some plain water out of my thing here and I'm gonna put it on here. It automatically seeps right into the paper. Now you could, let's pretend this is your watercolors, your, your paints, whatever, your, let's say your sprays, it's automatically just going to seep into the page. Whereas on this side, okay, do you notice how you can't even tell that I put the water down? Let's go over the oil pastels. Look how nice they blend, or the chalk pastels. Look how nice they blend on that side. Okay, let's see how well they blend on the other side. <laughs> they don't, they just blend into the background. I mean, it's crazy. Look how cool this is. This is the oil pastel, which I don't know if they're water soluble to begin with. No, they're not really. So, but still, you could still see the picture here. All it did is it just went into the background. Yeah, oil pastels are not, at least not, not those. If I used my gelatos, it would be different. Okay, let's show the, the colored pencil. Look at that. It just blends and drips right down. Let's show it on this side which is just a small line. Um, yeah, it just disappeared and then it soaked into the thing. So you see what I'm saying? Look what you can do with clear gesso. It's amazing. You could turn any surface, you can keep its original, you know, color and everything. So if I wanted to clear gesso over this and then work on it, I can't. I don't have to think, oh, I'd have to white gesso over this just to get, you know, the same results with my different mediums. No, use the clear gesso. Okay, so let's get to the recipe of how to make the clear gesso. Okay, it's very simple. I use this Tostitos container from Salsa Con Queso. <laughs> That's what I used. Um, obviously, I'm not going to eat this now. It looks like white cheese. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so what you're going to use, what you're going to need is you're going to need some PVA glue. You're not gonna need this big of a thing, but <laughs> yeah, so I get these from Lowe's because it's cheaper this way. There's no better way to buy it. Okay, regular white PVA, Elmer's glue, whatever. Okay, you're gonna need some water and you're going to need your powdered marble, marble dust, or calcium carbonate. Um, basically, calcium carbonate, come when, it, when it's in its regular form, it's a cream color, okay? It's the color of like the back of this domino, kind of like that, not the black, obviously, but the cream color. So if you use that, it's going to give a, probably a cream tinge to this, where if you want it to stay clear, you're going to use the white so when 
calcium carbonate is made into its white form, which is they do something with the pH on it where they neutralize it so it becomes white. Okay, it's no longer really considered, you know, when you go to buy it, calcium carbonate. It's called powdered marble or marble dust. So that's what you're going to search for. You're going to search for powdered marble or marble dust, and you're going to find this. And it's a very fine powder, and basically calcium carbonate, which I have talked about in the past, is crushed up Tums. That's what they use to make Tums. But when it's in this form, well, actually, when it's in its original cart calcium carbonate cream colored form they sprinkle it into the feed that they use for animals to make sure that they're getting enough calcium so on a farm they would sprinkle it into their food okay they use it in many different ways um it's a food safe product um i don't know about when it's in when it's been ph neutralized to make it white i mean obviously they did something to it to make it white but whatever it's not going to kill you um so anyway, so you, you're going to want the white. Powdered marble, marble dust, search for either one. You could find it in a bag. This bag was this tall. I don't know if you could see what I'm doing. It was about this tall, which is about four pounds. I have about maybe two pounds left um, because I've made and sold a lot of my own gessos with this. So if you got this for your own personal use, you would not go through this nearly as fast as I did. I was making batch after batch and actually selling my gessos and my modeling paste and stuff like that. So if you're not doing that, then if you're just using it for home uses, it'll last you quite a few years because I've had this almost a year now. Um, so anyway, you're going to use, you're going to put in a jar of some sort, I based this off of around this size jar, so that would be probably like a small, well, a little bit larger than a small mason jar. Maybe, you know, you could use a large mason jar, I guess. <clears throat> you're going to put in one cup of white glue. Then you're going to put in one fourth of a cup of water. So it's one cup of white glue, a fourth of a cup of water. Just tap water. You're going to mix that together. Then you're going to use about four, maybe five tablespoons, heaping tablespoons, of the marble dust. Okay. You're going to use, and if you put too much in, it won't be completely clear. You'll see a slight haze over your paper or project or whatever you put on, you know, usually your paper. Um, you won't notice it over white paper, obviously, but if you put it over something like this, you will notice a slight kind of like a haze. It's very, very faint, but you'll notice it. So you don't want to use any more than about you know, let's say four heaping tablespoons or five not as much heaping tablespoons would be fine. If you, because like I said, you don't want to overdo it with the powder, this stuff. Um, and if you do that, mix it up real good, that's all it is. And there's your clear gesso. And it gives you that nice tooth so that you can, you know, ride over anything you put it on. So, you know, if you want to doodle over your projects and you already Mod Podged it down, don't Mod Podge it. Use this because it's mostly glue. So it will glue down your projects. So you can then omit having Mod Podge all together in your projects and use this, okay? It does not give any kind of a gloss. Even, even Mod Podge's matte finish gives off sort of a gloss to it you could tell it's there this does not it is 100 percent matte finished you will not see any kind of glare like i see nothing i'm sure you could see nothing there's no glare or gloss it looks exactly like the paper was to begin with the only thing you could tell is when you feel it you can feel a a chalkier kind of feeling on this side where I've gessoed it with the clear gesso. So keep that in mind that you can use this as your Mod Podge. Oh, you know, considering if you're going to write or doodle or paint over what you've already collaged down. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will run out and make yourself some of this clear gesso. If you want me to make it for you, I do. Um, charge obviously a little bit for it but it's not as expensive as if you buy clear gesso it's kind of expensive so if you want me to make it if you don't want to do it and bother with it i do make it i do sell it just message me here on youtube or you can 
email me and I'll write my email down. Oops, I don't know why I'm writing the wrong email. Anyway. I suck at writing anymore. It's like my brain goes blank. Anyway, hopefully you could see that. It's pink poodle crafts at gmail.com. Pink poodle, as in poodle the dog, crafts, pink poodle crafts at gmail.com. So if you email me and tell me you want it, I also do regular white gesso. I also do black gesso. I also do modeling paste. I do all kinds of stuff that I make. I even make my um, make homemade laundry detergent, hand soap, and foaming soaps as well. So if you're interested in any of that, email me and I'll send you a quote um, for depending on what you want. And it's always going to be a decent price because I don't believe in overpricing anything. So um, yeah, so just give me shoot me an email and I'll kind of you know help you out with whatever you need. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great rest of your week, rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever it is. And um, make sure you do what you love and love what you do. Make yourself some clear gesso and have some fun. Not Tostitos, clear gesso. <laughs> Bye, guys.